He's worked with Michael Caine, Al Pacino, Richard Burton, Daniel Craig, and now he's uh, working with Antonio Banderas. And yet, between glamorous gigs, Michael Radford has also found time to come and see us at Expo North and give a masterclass. Michael, welcome to Expo Thanks. North Live. Thanks. Lovely to see you. Well, it's good to be here. My God, it's a long time since I've been in Inverness. Well, I was going to hope that I could take you down memory lane because 35 years <clears> ago, <throat> you shot Another Time, Another Place here, just up the road on the Black Isle. Absolutely, I did. It was the film that changed my life, actually. It was your first film, wasn't it? Sort of, yes. I made, I made a film, a short, uh, a film called The White Bird Passes, which was also based on a book by Jesse Kesson about her childhood. And I made that uh, in Aberdeenshire uh, for the BBC. So it was, a, it was a television piece, but it won a lot of prizes and launched Another Time, Another Place. And when you said that, you, you, was it easy to get another time, another place off the ground? I mean, at the time, the Black Isle didn't have the bridge that it has now. It was quite a remote place. Um, Jesse Kesson, you know, was not a big box office name. Mm -hmm. But was there a freedom then to, to, to try new things or, 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 to, or, or to push it, you know, topics that might not have immediate, obvi immediately obvious box office potential? They wanted, they wanted to put movie stars in, as they always do. Ah. Uh, but I said, no, I didn't want to do that. And the money was coming actually from the, uh, the UK, film, uh, UK Film Council, I think it was, or British Screen, or whatever it was called at that time. Mm -hmm. um, and they loved the script. And Channel 4, it was one of Channel 4's first film, you know, films financed for the cinema. Um, as opposed to for television. And um, it became, and because people loved the script, because people had already seen Phyllis Logan in, in The White Bird Passes, because The White Bird Passes has had a lot of success, <coughs> we just had no real, uh, real problems raising the money. It was a different time, I think, but it was, we had no real problems raising the money. Of course, Phyllis Logan's now forever associated with Downton Abbey. Yeah. But you spotted her potential twice early yes. on. What was it about her that you thought, yeah, this is, this is an actress I can work with? She was even better than I, than I thought. I mean, she was probably the, one of the best actresses that I've ever worked with. She's truly, truly a, a wonderful actress. Um, and uh, I think she should have had a much more, um, she was offered, a, I think, a, a much bigger career. She was offered a big career in Italy uh, straight after the picture. Yes, she was. I think she made one film there. But I don't think it was for her, you know. I, I think, uh, I don't know exactly why, but she kept herself to, she's had a very successful television career. Um, but, but as an actress, as, as a pure movie actress, she's extraordinary. And the reason... Um, I really found out the, how extraordinary she was when the editor called me in, Tom Priestley, and he said, have a look at this. And um, he was just, it was just amazing to see that the expressions in her eyes <coughs> change so subtly between one emotion and another emotion, and she could just keep it going. Extraordinary. You could see how another time, another place would strike a chord, particularly in Italy, because it's a, about a Scottish woman who begins a relationship with a, an Italian who's interned um, during the Second World War. Yeah. Um, but it also won you a, a, f a fan in, uh, which led to one of your most successful films, Il Pistino. Yeah. Could you tell us about that? Well, <laughs> uh, Massimo Trisi, uh, who was a, was a huge star in Italy, he was a fantastic comedian, very funny guy. Not in that kind of Italian over-the-top way, he was very, very subtle, and his humour was very British in a way. Um, and I'd asked him to be in the film because he, wa he was a name and Italian money would have come in. And he, I, he, he, he read the script, or he said he read the script, <laughs> and uh, then he called me up and he said he wasn't going to be in the film because he couldn't face the thought of of, of filming in Scotland because <laughs> it was too cold. <laughs> he comes from, he came from Naples. Yeah. When he saw the film, it became his absolute favourite movie that he'd ever seen, as it is for many people in Italy. Um, and he then um, rang me up and he said, "Listen, um, let's let's do the let's do a film like that, but let's do it in Naples. You know, let's do a, a Neapolitan film." And I said. Um, Massimo, I, I, I would, but you know, I don't want to make a film in Naples, it's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> 
touche, <laughs> or whatever it is in Italian. Yeah, yeah. Um, but actually, um, we became great friends, yeah. and uh, and uh, and we made this film together, which was a huge success. Well, it was lovely to spend time with you uh, this morning, but we can't let you go without asking. How can we bring you back, Michael, to make films in Scotland again? <laughs> what does it take? We'll, we'll even switch on the heating if, it, if that's an issue. <laughs> Not an issue for me. <laughs> um, but um, no, there's only one answer to that question, money. Money to make films. <clears throat> you know, um, I'm supposed to be doing a, a, a version of King Lear with, with Al Pacino, mm -hmm. and we could shoot that in Scotland if they gave the kind of um, you know, the kind of subsidies and, and money and support that you get now in Northern Ireland, for instance. Um, right. I'm, I'm not absolutely in touch with what there is in, in Scotland, but I know that money is an absolute issue. There's plenty of talent up here. Yeah, and in terms of King Lear, plenty of wind for that blow wind crack your cheek stuff. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Michael, thanks very much for joining us this morning. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Thank you.